Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate step-by-step -step procedure of installing, configuring and setting up Nimbus Cloud Server on Raspberry Pi 2. Now before we proceed with the installation part of Nimbus on Raspberry Pi 2, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is Nimbus. Nimbus is a toolkit that once installed on a cluster provides an infrastructure as a service cloud to its client via WSRF based or Amazon EC2 WSDL web service APIs. Nimbus is a free and open source software subject to the requirements of the Apache License version 2. Nimbus supports both the hypervisor Zen and KVM and virtual machine schedulers portable batch system and Oracle grid engine. It allows deployment of self-configured virtual clusters via contextization. It is configurable with respect to scheduling, network leases and usage accounting. Now if we talk of more details of Nimbus, the developer was Kate Kehe, Tim Freeman et al. The initial release was TP 2.2 on 1st of September 2009. It is written in Java and Python and operating system which is required is Linux. Platform is Zen plus KVM and type is cloud computing. The requirements are Zen 3.x, kernel based virtual machine, Java 1.5 plus, Python 2.4 version plus, Linux kernels, NetFilter and Abbey tables for bridging firewall and DHCP server. So if you can open the main website, if you can talk of nimbusproject.org, you can find more material on Nimbus. You can click on documentation and you can find more information regarding Nimbus on uh, over here and you can find that the latest table release which is available is version 2.10.1. Now if we talk specifically for Raspberry Pi, this is a website called cloudnimbus.org, you can find Nimbus is your personal cloud for Raspberry Pi and it is saying designed to run on nothing but an external hard drive and Raspberry Pi, Nimbus is a low cost, easy to use personal cloud, store, share and stream your files anywhere without paying a subscription or worrying about security of files. So following are the various advantages that is called share large files, keep your storage flexible, need more juice, more to come, stream music and video and save the money. So if you can download, you can find the download link over here and here is the all of the setup procedure which is being required and I will be demonstrating all the setup procedure via this file on the Raspberry Pi. So let us first of all start our procedure of using Raspberry Pi. So I have installed the latest version of Raspbian Jesse and uh, it is a fresh installation. So let us start with first of all updating the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi. So let us give the command sudo apt hyphen get update. So after update, we have to download and extract the Nimbus. So we are almost done with the package reading list. So it is very simple to install and deploy and very user friendly. Almost there. Okay, good enough. So let me clear this and now what we have to do is to go with the step one that is downloading and extracting Nimbus. So let us go to this directory cd slash home slash pi. So let us check this. So cd slash home pi is the default directory. So let us make one folder that is mkdir Nimbus. So in this folder what we have to do is to download this Nimbus. So we just copy it and we just paste it. So the next step is to have the tar. So we have to copy this into the Nimbus folder. So it is about a 35 MB of size. So depending on your net connection it will not take much time about less than 30 seconds to about one minute. So it has been downloaded you can see. Yes, so let us paste it. So let us extract the tar. And now what we have to do is to go to the step two that is running setup scripts and starting Nimbus. So let us go to this directory. Let me copy and let me paste. So let me clear this. And now what we have to do is to start the helper programs, the shell script. So let me copy this and let us paste. So now you can see that it is updating the package repository for Nimbus.
and after this we will uh, we will install the startup programs so it will take some time so building the dependency tree so now you can see that there are two or three packages which are being required as a dependency for installing nimbus so make it sure that you follow steps otherwise it is very much easy to install so all the procedure which i have already shown you is already there on this website you can follow all the procedure and whole of the procedure will be available downstairs on this video you can just use as such for deploying it on raspberry pi and making raspberry pi as a acting as a nimbus cloud server So Nimbus is again you can say that it is one of the most uh, important tool for cloud computing as compared to Tornado and own cloud and uh, in the last video I have, I have explained you how to install Tornado cloud server and in this video we are doing Nimbus but in uh, the coming videos I will be also covering own cloud server on Raspberry Pi which is also very good cloud computing product for other Linux distributions like uh, Ubuntu, Fedora and even uh, Debian so all like that. So cloud computing is a must do computing. So let's wait. It is taking some time. I can see my Raspberry Pi yellow light is fluctuating like anything so it is uh, installing I think so. Rest it will not take much time it will just take seconds. So just peer. So now you can see that it is processing some triggers and setting up the library that is libgate2 and setting up python, pmount and other dependencies. Now what we have to do is to deploy the startup programs. So let us copy and paste it. So enter the username you want to for the Nimbus because we don't want to require root because root will be unsecure so it is better that you take the pi or you can just add one user with the user add and you can use that user in order to use Nimbus. So let press enter it is done. So let us start Nimbus. So with this command you can see that the Nimbus configuration has started and it has been allocated process ID 17686. So it has been started so now what we have to do is to find the IP address of Raspberry Pi and then we have to go with the browser for opening of the main front end of this page. So if config the, uh, the Raspberry Pi is having the ID that is 1.100 so what we have to do is to HTTP with IP address with colon 8080. So let us open this. So let us press enter. Now you can see that it is loading the Nimbus. So everything seems fine and cool. So username, let me provide the username with this uh, my name 2016 cloud. Email, I can give anything. For the password, I provide a very secure password. Okay. So let us click on create account. So you can see that thanks for ready to go. Use of the login link to start the cloud. So let us click on login. And now let me provide the login ID which I have created that is Anand Nair 2016 cloud with my password and yes you can see that the Nimbus database uh, cloud has been set up so if I click on this files you can find the click here to assign drives to the user so click here and now you can add any external hard disk or you can add any pen drive so what I do I am having a 64 GB pen drive in my hand right now so I just what I do I just insert this pen drive to my Raspberry Pi so here I insert it so now what I do I just go with this refresh button so I go with storage devices so now you can see that it has been listed with 59.5 GB so 64 GB pen drive is there and you can assign this drive in order to put your information over here. So you can say this is how much easy it is so dashboard is very much cool. 
so media is also there and you can even go with the sharing so you can go with your permissions you can share any blocks you can do anything so it is a very cool interface for cloud it's a very good interface it's a very good interface towards newbies also so in this video i have demonstrated how to install nimbus cloud server on raspberry pi so do give this a shot do share with your friends and i hope you like this video so do like my video thank you so much for watching thank you